Hi everyone, um, so I'm back with week 35 and this is the 28th of August until the 3rd of September. So I'm going to start doing my autumn sort of themed weeks now because I'm really keen on moving on to some autumn designs and yeah, I just love autumn. So I'm really excited to start using some autumn collections that I have. Um, now, because it was like the 28th of August, it wasn't, you know, really, it was the end of summer. So instead of going straight for my like proper autumn ones, I went for this Simple Stories Hearth and Home collection, which is quite new, actually. I think it's new this year. Um, and it was just really nice because it had like the autumny sort of colours, like the browns and the navies and greens and stuff. But it wasn't like in your face autumn sort of design so I thought it was quite nice it's quite sort of homely which is what we did this week really we didn't really do too much um we were pretty much at home with the dog and we went out for a meal and stuff like that so we didn't really do too much outside so it was quite a good collection to um use so the first photo that I've got um is a picture of Bilbo so we had Bilbo over the weekend and I took him for a nice long walk on the Sunday um because I was off so I took him for a walk on the Sunday morning and we went through um it's round near a golf course that's near where I live um and the grass has just got so long so he was just like laying down in the grass with his stick um so I just thought it was a nice photo so I took that one and I just put some washi tape I'm using this like wooden washi tape that came from um I think it's from Craft Sensations it just came one of the pack of like 10 or whatever and um i think it's a christmas one actually to be fair the wooden one but uh, it went really well with this um collection and this week as well so i'm just putting some flowers at the top um and a word sticker that said it was a really good day and there were this cute like um they're almost like outlines of flowers they're just nice really simple flowers stickers that i wanted to put on so i put one in the corner as well um on the bottom left corner then the next photo that's going to go underneath the title card is a picture of the pub that we went to on the Sunday afternoon. Um, we went for Sunday lunch just because we hadn't really been out to eat or anything really, um, just us two, and we thought it'd be quite nice to try somewhere new for Sunday lunch. Um, so we went to this really nice place called the Hare and Hounds, um, and it's got really, really lovely views outside. We didn't sit outside because it was a little bit chilly, but um, you know when it was peak summer time, it would have been really lovely to sit outside. Um, but it's actually a bit drizzly. So we sat in and we had a really nice Sunday dinner. So again, I put some washi tape at the top and this like banner sticker that says yum, 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 which obviously is very fitting. And then also this like house, little triangular house um, sticker that I'm going to stick at the bottom left alongside a word sticker that says let's eat. So it was just really like a perfect collection for this week because everything was around food and being at home and homely sort of things. So it was just perfect. And also, as I said, I wanted to get into like autumn -y sort of colours. Um, so, yeah, really enjoyed using this collection. So that is that photo. The photo that's going to go next to it is a picture of our food. Um, so obviously I'm using Design C, which is the six, six by four ones, pockets. But um, obviously I didn't, you know, have six six by four photos so instead um i like to fill them up with either journaling cards and also use three by four cards to go alongside my photos um so i'm actually using this really old paper that i've had for absolutely years um it's from wilco's and i think it's from dovecraft actually but it's just like browns and greens and it's got like a imprint of like a doily and stuff on there so it's it's really nice it's just really old um i don't think they even sell it anymore but it just matched this week quite nice as well so it's good to use up some older stuff so I'm just using a piece of that as 6x4 to stick the photo on one side and then I use a 3x4 card that said let's eat um, next to that. Again, perfect because obviously we're going out for tea. Um, I also put some washi tape at the top alongside a little sticker that says time to eat. The last photo that's going to go underneath the picture of the pub is a picture of Bilbo and Moose. Um, Bilbo was just chilling out and he has this thing about he likes to put your head his head on your lap a lot of the time so he just looked really cute so it was just nice being at home and just sort of chilling with the animals um the cats really love Bilbo actually surprisingly um and it's just yeah it's a nice little atmosphere we've got going on when Bilbo comes over so it's really homely so that picture is going to go on the right and then I use a three by four card that just has home written and it's got a little love heart instead of the O, which is a really really cute card um, and again, I just put some washi tape at the bottom with a word sticker that says blessed with the best. And then I also have a little round sticker that, that says home as well. And I just thought that looked quite cute. Like the little 
version of the 3 by 4 card. And then the last um, sleeve that's going to be in there is this journaling card. It's actually a recipe card, but obviously I'm just going to use it as journaling. Um, and I just talk about what I did for the first part of the week. Um, and yeah, that's what I do like about this collection. There's loads of journaling elements because it's supposed to be like recipes and car recipes and things. So you can use those to put all your journaling on, which is good. Um, and then for my title card, I'm going to use this three by no six by four um, card that's got these little houses on and flowers. And I'm going to use my new American Crafts Alpha stamps, um, which are like just like an outline of capital letters and I just really like them I just think they look really really nice they're really simple it looks hand done which is quite nice um which is the effect that I like sometimes I don't like it to be too formal I like it to look a little bit handwritten um so yeah so I use my stays on brown ink um just to stamp the week 35 on the top um so that is where I've gone so these are the little alpha stamps I put them in a craft tool a couple of weeks back you can find on my channel, but they were like $7 from American Crafts that I bought from scrapbook.com a couple of months ago, um, just because I've got in my head that I want to use stamps rather than stickers for alphabets, because we all know that stamps always last, whereas stickers don't. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so I'm just going to stamp week 35, and then I just literally stamp my dates as I normally do the 28th to the 3rd of September. So that's pretty much all I do for this one. It's quite simple. Um, I was actually getting ready to go abroad when I was doing this layout. So it's very simple and very quick, which is what I was grateful for. Um, and then the I actually go on holiday and then I come back and do the second part. Um, so yeah, a bit of a time between, but obviously you won't see that. Um, but yeah, so I was just grateful that it came back to came together really really quickly and sometimes you just want them to because it's lo it's lovely to obviously sit there and I'm an hour about stuff but sometimes you just want to get the photos in and done um so that you can keep on track of everything because it is really difficult to keep track of everything as well as you know life <laughs> so yeah so I hope you enjoyed this week and as I said I'm looking forward to doing lots of autumn -y sort of style um, layouts for the next couple of months and also using some Halloween bits as well um, to celebrate October. You can see that I just obviously spilt some ink on the side there so I was just rapidly trying to clear that up um, but yeah so I do love stays on ink it's amazing but it does stain so you have to be really really careful with the ink but they do I have tried to invest in a few more because they are really really good and they yeah really good quality and they don't dry up a lot of people say they've dried up and they've had to refill them but I've been really good with them, actually, to be fair. I've ma not managed to um, make them go dry. So, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this week, and I'll be back soon. Bye.